One of my favorite parts of hosting this channel is actually helping you guys with your websites and your marketing. More specifically, I love taking what I know about what works best on websites and applying them directly to your website. So this is gonna be another website makeover video. And I asked you all to submit your websites to be considered, and I've chosen three that I think could do slightly better when it comes to creating a real connection between their brand and their most ideal client. So I'm gonna be redoing their home pages from top to bottom to be just as effective as possible and be better at connecting with their prospects, um, you know, much better than they're doing right now. And in doing that, you're gonna see all the different improvements your website could probably use as well. Because if you can avoid the common mistakes that you might be making, and then just replace what isn't working with what does work and is proven to work, that means more client connection and more business for you. So go ahead and borrow and steal from this video. That's what this is all about. Um, so as I said, the theme for all three of these websites today is really all about helping them connect better to their clients through the images and the design all the way through the actual content of the site. So, um, okay, let's just get right into the first website and we'll start by showing you the before. Okay, so this site was submitted by posturoplus.com. It's a site um, in a couple languages. I think it's also in French, but I, I chose to put on the English version so I could see what I'm looking at. But this is basically a, um, a I believe it's a chiropractic office. It's basically physical therapy um, with some workout elements as well. And when I'm looking at this page, remember how we talked about connection? What I think this is missing, at least in the hero section for sure, is that human element. This is a, an empty space, which doesn't generally do a lot to um, really make it feel lively or connect with your audience. So that's one problem I'm seeing. And also, none of this really stands out to me. There's this section, which is meant to be um, basically the hero. And what they're doing is they're, they're kind of wasting this top headline with a welcome message, which is generally not anything I recommend. The top headline of your website is so important. You don't wanna be using it with just a welcome to our site or using your logo really big. You wanna make a connection of what you do and exactly why that should matter. So let's keep going. And we're also seeing, you know, kind of competing elements. We've got this, we've got some Google reviews, we've got a, a chat feature here. It's all competing for attention. Then we have in our services section with, I feel like this is just kind of a weird image of just a couch and a plant. I don't really know what this is doing for, for the site. And then we've got all these services. I feel like it's a lot of services being shown. I, I generally tend to believe on a homepage at least, you should try to cut it down to your most basic core services. And the, the type is really small. It's just hard to read. I feel like no one's really going to stop and look at this very much. Then we have in our team section. Now this is kind of good because it does provide that human connection I was talking about, right? The top section didn't, but this kind of makes it feel like, okay, real human beings work here. The problem is it's not always super necessary to introduce your staff members, at least on the homepage. There's, if you're gonna do that, I would say to do that on the about page, but the good news is here, like these pictures are actually really good. They don't feel boring. They feel pretty well thought out with a lot of personality. So that's the good news there. And then from here, we've got this. I'm not exactly sure what this section is. It's called labeled experience. And then they talk about listening. They talk about, uh, there's one slide here that actually talks about the coffee that they have in their offices, which I don't think is emphasizing the right stuff, right? No one's coming into a chiropractic office or a physical therapy office for the coffee. So when you start trying to talk about everything, the message gets diluted and you really wanna focus on the most important thing. Yeah, here's the coffee thing I was talking about. So I think we can do better with this homepage. So let's take a look at my version for Posturo Plus. So you'll notice right in the hero, rather than saying welcome to Posturo Plus, I give them the, the what, what do we do? We improve your posture and well-being, uh, physical therapy designed to overcome limitations, restore normal function, and perfect your posture. And then what we have here is not an image of an empty space or even a space at all because 
what you're selling, Postura Plus, is not the equipment. It's not the physical therapy. It's the after state of what you'll be able to do once you're done with your patients, right? Now, this is an important note for everybody watching this. You're almost never selling the thing that you do. You're selling the aftermath of the thing you do. Now, I could have put a lot of images here. I could have put someone, you know, playing with their kids, that kind of thing. But I just decided to go simple for a guy riding a bike. Now, if your clientele is mostly women, you might want to reflect that. Or if it's mostly, you know, older patients, you might want to reflect that as well. It's always important to kind of keep the hero image um, feeling like your most core demographic. And what I've also did is I'd made the book a session button a bit more standout. It's a color as opposed to on your original page. It's just a black button that does not beg to be clicked on. It's just, it's very, it fades into the background. You don't want it to. You want it to be very kind of in your face, feeling like you're branding, but you want it to be noticeable. From there, we go into the three benefits, which was kind of missing on your actual homepage. And I just lifted these from various places on the website itself. They just weren't organized cleanly like this. Then we go into our services. So I think this is a much more manageable treatment of the services as opposed to this right here where there's too many of them and it all just feels very black and white. And I replaced this image of the couch with a few images of the space because I do think it is important to actually have the space reflected on the website so people see exactly what they're walking into. And you do have a beautiful space here. So if you have really nice interiors, they are worth showing, just generally not in that top hero section. And then if anyone wants to learn more about a certain service, they can click on one of these buttons and they would go to, the idea is they would go to a, a standalone page for that service. All right, moving down. Now we have a dedicated section for testimonials, but these aren't just standard testimonials. My idea here with this headline, look what our patients are doing now, would be that each one of these patients would be talking about something that they're now able to do as a result of your service. So rather than having them just say how um, on, you know, punctual the doctor was or how easy it was to book an appointment, it's more like this is the pain I was in before. This is what I couldn't do. And now this is what I can do now that I've worked with you guys. Much more powerful that way. So, and then we have see the rest of our reviews on Google. And then this could be a button that would go over there. And this is basically replacing this guy right here, this Google review. So it looks like you have a lot of them. So if you want to get people to read all of them, that's fine. But I wouldn't put them in a, you know, obtrusive pop up like that. And then we end the page with just a really clear call to action with one more um, image of your space. And I think all said and done, this is going to do a much better job of connecting with people and really getting them to take that action, which is to book an appointment. All right, so our next website comes to us from Elite Town Car Services, and this is their before page. So we have something that's pretty common, which I see in a lot of websites, and I'm not exactly sure why. Um, this skyline photo, I think a lot of businesses do this when they're a local area, and they're using language like, you know, Houston, Texas, luxury transportation, which is obviously meant to be kind of an SEO play, I would imagine. So their thought is, we'll just show Houston in the background. But again, this does nothing to connect with your potential clients. We're talking luxury transportation here, so, and we're not even showing the luxury cars here, but we do have a nice big quick quote thing right here. And I will talk about this for one quick second. If you want people to get a quick quote and you wanna get their email address so you can keep following up with them, I think my opinion is you're asking for way too much information here. Like to ask them to select the service, like there's way too many things here. Um, and a lot of times when you ask people for information that they're not really prepared to answer right away, they're just gonna put it off. So I would definitely pare this down to, to only the most basic choices and then select vehicle. We've got way too many choices here. Like the average person, if I knew I wanted a limo for the night, I'm not going to be able to choose between all these. So what happens is now I'm shutting down. Now I'm like, I don't know if I need 16 or 20 passengers. So I'm going to get back to this later. And then guess what? I'm probably not going to get back to it later. Or I might find one of your competitors. There's a lot that can go wrong. So to ask for the bare amount of information to get the most basic quote possible. 
and then see what you need, the date, time, pick up, address, drop off. Um, I don't know that you need cell phone yet because if you're just gonna email them, people are very hesitant to give their uh, phone information. So I bet if you got rid of the phone number and you were just to email them with the quote, you'd probably do a lot better right there. And then business or personal, you may not need to ask that either. And then we've got you know, your different things you offer, which is good. Um, here's what I'm gonna talk about right now. The, one of the biggest things this website is kind of um, guilty of, I would say, is it's a, it's a very transparent SEO play. It's all SEO language, it's Houston limousine service. I know you're going for those keywords, but this does absolutely nothing to connect with anybody because I guarantee you, no one is reading any of this. It's written for SEO, it's written for Google. So I think we can do a little bit better there, or there's at least a better place to put it. Now we've got all the just airports, um, you know, it's, it's kind of weird, like we have two airports, then we just have the city, then we have corporate black car. It's like these things don't go together. I don't know what this section is. So let's do a little bit better and let's look at the after version. So that would be right here. So what I've done is I've replaced that uh, background image of the skyline with these images of people enjoying, these women are enjoying a night in the town, the next one is more of a corporate, or no, or the wedding scenario, which I think is probably a big driver for you, as well as the corporate drive to the airport or whatever. And I've replaced the just basic generic uh, Houston luxury car or whatever. Or is it Houston? Or Yeah, it's Houston. Um, with more of a tagline, something that really embraces what exactly you offer. Depart on time, meaning you are... Uh, dependable and you'll arrive in style. So then we still have the word Houston. We say Houston's elite choice for luxurious yet affordable airport transport, corporate travel, once in a lifetime events, and lavish nights out. And then we've got a button to reserve. And then we have that quick quote right here. And I've basically pared it down to the information that I would think would be the most important just to be able to give a basic quote and then from there, we have our three benefits, which is super important. And this was definitely missing on the other version, which would be something like only the latest models, um, always prompt, and then hassle-free scheduling. I'm making these up, but you know, if these aren't your benefits, don't go for them. But I think you see the kind of thing we're going for here. Then we have all the different uh, services you provide. Then these could click through to a dedicated page for all of them. Then I think it's really important to uh, finish this off with a nice testimonial section. And I'm a big fan of video testimonials, which is why I included one right here, which is, this is more of a story. It's giving it more gravitas, if you will, by making this kind of a wedding story of how seamless the, the transportation was, how clean the car was, how much it made their special day all the more special. Again, making this up, but I think this something like this would go a long way toward really selling the luxury of your service. And then we've got, you know, so we've got the, the featured case study with a video if you want, and then a few more, just more basic testimonials there. Then, you know, we can have the meet our fleet section, which you have on your site, which shows all the, the vehicles. And I do think there's a reason to have these because uh, some people will want to see the goods, right? They want to see exactly what they're getting. And then from there, We've got a just a really super clear call to action section. And then here is where we can make that SEO play because we've already covered the important stuff that's going to, that's meant to connect more with your people. Now we can kind of add just that the SEO words, the keywords and stuff to your site at the end of it. We still want to make it look good, especially the headlines. We want to break up the text a bit. Um, we have this nice image over to the left to make it just break it up, make it feel a little bit more premium because that's what you're selling here. And then we've just got one last um, section for that. So uh, that is it for this page. I definitely think it feels much more premium and it makes people understand why they would want to go with you over your competition. All right, and our third and final site we're gonna be making over today is SpurgeonAppraisals.com. So let's take a look at the before. So this is a service that gets the true value of your property. Basically, if you're buying a house, 
they go in and they appraise the house so you make sure you're making the right real estate decision. So uh, let's talk about why I decided to redo this website. Again, the hero section is a little lacking. I do like the text. I think the text is pretty good. Um, but then we have just this background of a cornfield and sky. So that really doesn't do anything to tell me about, you know, that you specialize in appraising homes. Or I, and we'll, as we'll see a little down the page, it's about, you know, farm, commercial, and home. So it's all kinds of properties. So I think the farm is the reason why we'd, we would have this. But again, I would rather see a farm house at that point than just kind of cornfields. So moving down the page, we have just basically these tell us the three kinds of properties that you assess. It's good to know. Um, another call to action, good. And I will give you kudos on actually uh, being one of the few people whose websites I look at who actually go with that um, nice bright call to action button that doesn't get repeated anywhere else on the site. That is the number one piece of advice I give out on this channel that gets ignored almost every time. So good job there. And then we have, okay, this is just kind of an image of two people with nothing on it. I feel like that's kind of wasted space. Um, then what people like you, so this is a testimonial section, but it doesn't feel like a testimonial um, because it's just got this pasture image in the background, much better if it was image, you know, an image like this next to the quote, right? Um, then we have your blog button, um, then just kind of a tagline that doesn't really say much. This is one of those really cliche taglines that a dry cleaner could use this, a, uh, a dog trainer <laughs> could use this. So we wanna make sure that everything we're saying is actually relevant to your service. And then we have just basically where, what area you cover, and that is the end of the page. So let's take a look at my version now, which looks like this. So basically we have the same text. This is definitely exactly the same. I think this may have been tweaked slightly, but it's pretty much the same. And then I've kind of stuck with that uh, more rural vibe that your website has, because I think judging by the website, that is more what uh, this company specializes in. But I chose to use an image of people with their house. So I think this is gonna do a much better job of connecting with your ideal clients. Then from there we have, um, I basically repurposed a lot of this content from the existing site, just kind of re restructured some things to make it a little more clear. So we've got this, since your property isn't exactly like your neighbors, you dig a little deeper. So it's a section that basically talks about what we do that's different and better than your competitors. Now, you had a, a, a section like this, but it, it's right here, and it's given no visual punch whatsoever. We've got like this picture followed by these three green things. I guarantee you, no one, no one's eyes are stopping right here to read this. So I just wanted to give it a little bit more visual punch. And then we still have home, farm, commercial, and then from there, we have the three benefits because that was missing as well. All three of these sites today were missing benefits, which is huge. You need to show the benefits of your service and specifically working with you over your competition. So I came up with just a few things, guaranteed accurate, extremely thorough, expertly efficient. So I kind of just lifted these from around your website, but organized them here. And then we have a section where we, talk, we talked before about that we do things differently, right? That we go more into depth. But with this section, the whole point here is to really break it down. So here's what happens with a standard appraisal, but here's what happens with us, right? Extremely powerful to just be able to see the night and day difference between what you get with them versus what you get with us. And then moving on down, we've got a testimonial section followed by just another really clear call to action. And if you wanna find out how to actually make these kind of changes or create your brand new website from scratch, I'm gonna show you the method that I always use that requires zero coding and pretty much zero website experience. So this is the exact same method that I used to redesign all three of these sites from scratch, and I did it in just a few hours. So I promise it's super easy, 
and it's pretty fun too. So click this video right here and I'll show you how I do it.